Bullets were flying over us, yet I felt serene. But now the Secret Service agents were putting themselves in peril. They were in very dangerous territory. Bullets were flying right over them, missing them by a very small amount of inches. And then it all stopped. Our Secret Service sniper, from a much greater distance and with only one bullet used, took the assassin's life, took him out. I'm not supposed to be here tonight. Not supposed to be here. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah. Thank you. But I'm not. And I'll tell you, I stand before you in this arena only by the grace of Almighty God. Take a look at what happened. Fuck it, fuck the dude, um, the firefighter guy, uh, fuck Trump, fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am, 100%. I just found out about this shit. It just happened. I haven't even had a second to process. You're telling me somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And he missed! We were a second away! We were a centimeter away from half of the problem being gone and you missed! There was a white man attached to that trigger. I know it! We were a centimeter away! I'm not saying that I would ever try to assassinate a presidential candidate. All I'm saying is that if I went through all of that trouble, I wouldn't miss. I wouldn't graze that he wouldn't be able to raise a fist. I would finish the job. Also, the person that at Trump at his rally was exercising that right that all of those Republicans were fighting for. So can you really blame him? I just got out of the movies and for a split second, I thought Donald Trump had been assassinated. And I thought to myself, this is the best day of my life. And then he wasn't. So it's the worst day of my life. Today was like this close. To being the best day ever. Sending our best to fascinate. Because what the hell was that? Lee Harvey Oswald would never. John Wilkes Booth would never. You miss that! We don't miss those! Come on, man! Oh, no 
miss those! One shot at greatness! To be mentioned in the history books! And you miss the shot! Fire! <laughs> Don't miss Trump next time. Somebody <laughs> shot at Trump uh, at a rally, like, a couple of minutes ago. And it grazed him by the ear. There was some bleeding. And whoever did that, like, if you're gonna, like, do this, can you, like, pick somebody who knows how to shoot a gun? <laughs> like if you're gonna do it like do it this is from libs of tiktok so this is a teacher from the university of british columbia right professor of teaching damn so close too bad damn it so close someone says and now he'll milk being a victim for more votes i really wish the person had better aim what a glorious day this could have been person who took it at trump today why did you miss Come on, now you gave him what he wanted more than anything in the world, attention. We're losing this election, like. It was, you know, a 20 year old lone wolf, white, whack job with easy access to a gun. And we have to have a conversation about that because it wasn't a drag queen. It wasn't an immigrant. It wasn't a pissed off liberal woman. The uh, shooter, um, yes, it was a 20-year-old kitchen worker from nearby Bethel, Bethel Park in Pennsylvania. According to a CNN report, a senior law enforcement official said that he bought 50 rounds of ammunition from a local gun store hours before the rally. Shouldn't that have been reported? Somebody buys 50, a 20-year-old white guy? I mean, we've seen that many times now, young white men with guns. Hey guys, uh, Trump's been shot. When he got up, he was bleeding from the ear, but he seemed perfectly fine. He's not dead. He's fine. Like my best guess, and this is just a guess because he was just shot, uh, is that he uh, w was, uh, it, it looked like a BB gun or something. That was most staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. This was, I believe, done to try to show his strength counter to Biden's fragility. What was your thoughts about the assassination attempt? They missed. They missed. They missed. <laughs> do you, do you, yeah, um... He should have died. He's not good for this country, and he never will be. Wow. Ever. He's the worst person that could be ever. I thought it was magnificently staged. It was professionally done. It almost looked real. Wait, wait, wait. Staged by who? Oh, by Mr. Trump, of course. This is the peaceful left. This is the love and tolerance and happy pride and happy equality. Like this is this is that group. You cannot make this compilation for people on the right. You you literally can't. It's like at, at what point are we going to sit back for ourselves and and really think for ourselves and say, you know what? Why do I hate Trump? Why are all these people screaming in my face that I need to hate this man? That I need to wish this type of behavior on this man? Why do they hate him this? much when are we going to sit back and think for ourselves and ask us that question it's the election season i'm already seeing so many posts like omg if trump become president or if you're a, a vote for president trump is a vote against lgbtq people did you forget he already was president like that entire time trump was president for four years straight did you die did something horrible happen to you in your life a, a direct result from him being president honest question like people are acting like they were in 2016 and it's like he already has been president. It's like, was your life better back then when Trump was president or the past four years now with Biden? I am so sick and tired of the mentality that Americans have being like, well, no, start paying attention. Start paying attention. The presidents that get taken out are the presidents that threaten the system. The same system that you complain incarcerates, incarcerates black people. The same system that won't give you health care. The same system that's doing everything that you've complained about for decades, yet somehow you keep voting for Joe Biden 1994 crime bill. Kamala Harris imprisoning black people on minor marijuana charges just to put people on her prison workforce. If you don't wake up and smell the freaking flowers, I don't know what you're going to do for the rest of your life. Stop thinking like they're telling you how to think and start thinking for yourself. President Trump just got shot. And as someone who voted against Trump in both 2016 and 2020, this is a cause of, for deep reflection by me. And my question is, 
Have we been told the truth at any point over the last eight years about who Trump is and what's actually going on here? A lot of people who are pro-Trump have been saying that this is the playbook of the of they, whether it's a deep state or you know some shadowy interest in the government. First, they try to cancel you. So they say shit about your character. They say things that can't actually be proven. They take quotes from you that make you basically look bad. The second thing that they try to do is they try to convict you of something. In this case, trumped up charges about you paying legal expenses to a porn star for her to not say that you had sex with her. It's like, morals aside, like, is that really a big deal enough to convict someone? And then the third thing that they try to do is they try to kill you. And that's just what happened with Trump. And actually, you know, I've been updating my view on Trump recently. and I started going back to some of the things that I was told that he said, and some of them he literally did not say. Like, for example, you remember when we were told that he said of white supremacists and uh, other racists in a rally that he said that they were good people? It's not true. If you actually watch the whole clip, and I'll share a link to the clip here, you can see that he's clearly saying there were other people at the rally who are good people. They're calling the alt-left and white supremacists on the same moral plane. I'm not putting anybody on a moral plane. What I'm saying is this. You had a group on one side and you had a group on the other and they came at each other with clubs and it was vicious and it was horrible. So this is a time where it's really hard to know what to believe. But, you know, sometimes when we hear things are conspiracy, 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 maybe it's time to listen because maybe it's not. Thomas Crooks. Thomas Crooks was a high school student when he appeared in an ad for an investment company. Crooks was a registered Republican, but donated $15 to a progressive group. But check this out. This is really bizarre to me. Why does it never end? Because our government just can't come out and say it. They can't just come out and say, you know what, this is what happened. It's yeah. all verifiable. That's it. Instead, they want to let the American people wonder. It's a mm. disservice to America. And everybody who's trying to cover this up, you're a traitor. One more thing before we get started. Joe Biden said, now is the time to come together. How do we come together if we don't know what happened? Think about that one, Joe. Jesus Christ, dude. So I want to give credit where credit is due because this guy did a fantastic breakdown of this. Oh, he goes in. He goes into my stuff, but listen to this. Totally late, and they're trying to control the information. Sean, they tried to kick me off of the site. They said, get out of here. That's Senator Josh Hawley. Listen to him. The FBI is kicking him off. He's Senator, U.S. Senator, wants on the site. You shouldn't be on the site. We don't want you here. Get out of here. They are trying to control get the out information. Of here. Absolutely. They brought, they brought local cops, Sean. Get this. I'm there on site. I had permission from the local a security operator to be there and they the FBI came out and said you have got to leave the thing is that most of the detail assigned to Trump that day into that rally were not secret service that most of them were from other federal agencies including homeland security and Sean they weren't prepared does the government not well, understand that you're the reason why they all right that's beautiful listen to the whole thing i'll put the link down in the show notes sorry i didn't have time to drop that in as a proper video but but think about this the FBI is washing down the roof right they uh, are just controlling the site and they're just like controlling and they won't. How many press briefings have you heard? I've heard zero press briefings, right? That had any details at all. We still don't know how many shots were fired out of the rifle. We don't know. I haven't even established that Crooks is the shooter. Everybody knows that. But do we know it? Have we seen empty spent casings? Have we seen the powder residue on his hands uh, report, have we seen that that gun has been fired? Have we seen how many bullets are left in cartridges are left in the magazine and how many are left in the box he had and that those sort of add up? Have we seen that the bullets that were recovered downfield and from people's bodies actually match the ones that he bought? No, none of that. We know none of that. Why this one is stupid important. Uh, what I'm going to want you to look for, Crooks is up there and they actually are on him for a fraction of a second for the first shot. And now, yeah, I know these are only two, two, threes, but trust me, there's a, there's a little pop. There's a little jerk there. There's a little something that happens. Uh, they give a kick, right? It's not the biggest kicking cartridge in the world, but it has a kick. Okay. And this doesn't look like the world's biggest guy to me. And it doesn't even matter if he is the world's biggest guy. The gun will always jump and depends, you know, how far your shoulder is going to move. Watch his shoulder at the time the shot is taken. Now, I can't confirm or guarantee that somebody hasn't mucked around with this video, but this is the earliest one that came out of this angle from TMZ. It matches all the other ones from this angle that are out there. 
I haven't found one that has a different audio signature to it. So unless somebody who first uploaded it had mucked with the, the, the sound and overlaid uh, a different, you know, move the track on there, that's a possibility. I like to get the objections right out of the way. But if that hasn't happened, see if you see what I see in this thing. Watch his shoulder. You see that? Watch his shoulder. Right there. And. 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 There is no. No movement to his. No, like there's no movement. None. He is just dead still on that first shot. Okay. So again. I'm really concerned that what we're seeing here is those first three shots were not taken by that dude lying there on the roof. And again, we still don't know if that guy on the roof has even taken a single shot at all because we have no data. The FBI is even locking out Josh Hawley, locking everybody out there, probably busy washing roofs down and dismantling stages and taking it all apart and then saying, oh, gosh, what a shame. There's some analyses that we could do if only we hadn't done that. Right. Because that's literally how they roll over and over again. I, it must just be horrifying to people who work there who have high integrity uh, when there's when there's uh they're not interested in the actual truth no one told you not to take the stage no nobody mentioned it nobody said there was a problem and i would have waited for 15 they could have said let's wait for 15 minutes 20 minutes five minutes something uh nobody said i think that was a mistake how did somebody get on that roof and why wasn't he reported because people saw that he was on the roof I and mean, you had uh Trumpers screaming, the woman in the red in the red shirt, she was screaming, there's a man on the roof. And then other people said, there's a man on the roof who's got a gun. And that was quite a bit before I walked onto the stage. So you would have thought somebody would have done something about it.